We're here for iCast 2019. And why don't you tell us about the safe anchor that we have here? Alright, I'll take it away. Uh, Stay Anchor is uh, the leading manual shallow water anchor manufacturer on the water today. Uh, basically, what we have is a alternative to your automated mechanical anchors. Right here, we have an eight-foot pole with our super duper handle. It's called the super handle. If you're not familiar with the concept. This is our boat, by the way. You're on your boat. Bring the boat to a stop. Put it through the mount. Slide to the bottom. Anchor it down. It's kind of like a floating dock concept for the boat. What, the, what this pole is going to do, that pole is going to bend like crazy. It's not, not going to snap unless you take off with the boat. That's not. So we have a bunch of different mounts for a bunch of different boats. Bow mount. Lock the front of the boat in place. Now you have total boat control. That is, that. okay, real quick, bow, bow mount. Guys, that's fabulous. Those of you that finesse fish and you get into a windy situation, you get you get to bow your boat, the front of your boat position where you know you want to cast, slide that down and anchor down right there, and you're 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 gonna stay put. Absolutely. Yep. Our other mount, the motor mount. So these replicate the bolts on the motor. This slides right over on top of the motor. You don't need to remove the motor to install it. it installs in about 10 minutes. As fast as you get these nuts off, slide that on, put everything back on, tighten it down, you're on. You're uh, <clears throat> the unique thing about all of our mounts is our shaft system. We have a Delrin coated interior, so that helps reduce the wear and tear on the pole. Helps reduce with uh, sound. So we're not, what we're not uh, really trying to do with these is not spook away a species that is very spooky. So like redfish or crowd or anything like that here in the day. So it's quiet as it slides through. Right. Yeah. Very, very quiet. So we're trying to be st stealthy. So if you're push pulling up to you in the flats, you go up and you just slide that thing down and you're fishing. You're not messing around with the boat anchor. You're not messing around. You got your pole in the, literally your fishing pole in the other hand. You slide this down and sight casting so that's the whole reason of the game we're trying to see we basically wanted to do something that's affordable and keeping everything very very simple okay do us a big favor sure um talk to us about what these retail for because i'm sure that sure. people who went out to get different automatic automated anchors mm -hmm. I'm sure they got a bit of sticker shock when they saw the price tag. So what what were these? Retail? Okay, so an automated anchor, you're going to be paying around two grand for the product, and you're going to, have to pay more to get it installed too. Extremely heavy too. Taxes. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of cons to it. So ours is a fraction of the price. Three fifty, you're going to be out the door with the whole thing. So this this okay. route right here is retailing at two nineteen. And this pole right here is at 139. Now, if that's a little too expensive for you, what we can do is we have rubber grit holes if you just need to go downgrade just a little bit, save a little bit more money. Same function, just doesn't have as much as the tools as the super handle does. You got a, you got a bow hook, push pull type, got a handle. And the best part about this, bring it down here, is you can take it off. It's got a threaded rod at the bottom of the handle. And then it's got a lot of repetitions because you don't want it falling off in the water. Now you can put an extension pole on. You can make it longer. Wow. One, one day you might be uh, being an eight foot pole. Uh, next day you may be up in Jacksonville where there's a foot of silt. So you need to put another four feet on. So that's what's kind of. Wow, how far you, you can add an extension pole, I guess you could. What do you recommend? Is about 16 feet maximum? 12. 12 is 12, 12. So a four foot extension. Exactly. Then screw that back on. Yep. But that's still awesome. I mean, yeah. so if you're in eight or nine foot of water and you want to sit there and chill out and work a spot, a cover or whatever. Exactly. You can add that extension pole on and, and anchor down. Exactly. I like it. Is that longer or is this more efficient and can it go farther down? 
Uh, it, it's it's about the same length. Now, the bow, obviously, you're going to be probably two feet off the water, right. so you're going to lose two feet. Add an extension. Right. Add, add an extension. Right. Now, these brackets, you're at water level. So th this is almost in the water. Uh, so you're going to get way more out of the turns, setups of the pole. But these are true. I mean, you get to use every bit of the length of this pole. The rubber grips, you'll lose a little bit. You lose, about, okay. you lose about six inches of that. But the super handle, this thing goes all the way in. It's all the way through. Those, all those couplings that join it through, they go all the way through. So we built this to make sure you get the full length. Matt. Appreciate you taking the time. I love this product. Thank you. A kayakers, I think you're gonna fall in love with this big time. I know you guys are working on uh, possibly attachments for kayaks, because I can just see those guys where we we're from, there's kayaks everywhere, they fish tournaments. You know, 10 mile an hour, 12, 15 mile an hour wind, they're pedaling to try to stay in place so that they can fish. Right. Pull one of these out, stick it down. Absolutely. And go to work. So you have an ETA on when you might have some attachments for kayak. Uh, so we're probably gonna be about another six to eight months out. Okay. I believe for that. Okay. We're gonna do a bunch of design. We're gonna go test it. And what, what, what's neat about our products is we put a lot of thought into it. We're not just gonna make something and then spit it out right, the right, right. and see if it sticks. No. We literally put a lot of thought. I mean, just this one piece right here. Uh, I mean, we took the cowling in place. We took turning into place. Like all these little different things. So this the prop, maybe the prop doesn't hit the pole. And we just put a lot of thought into it. And then we want to make it. Like I'm gonna use it because I do. Right. So Matt, thanks so much. Hey, we thanks for coming you. out. We appreciate your time. Right. Thanks, buddy. You did awesome. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.